Yo, what's going on, J Fam? What's going on, guys? All right, in today's video, we actually doing another build series on Jorge's bike. Uh, not the other mini bike, but the one that had the issues with the clutch and the one that the chain broke and all that shit and everything started happening. Da, 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 da. All right, so the mini bike was parked over there. I don't know if you want to show it. was parked over there next to the other mini bike. And you know what? Today I was like, you know what? I want to ride my dirt bike. Let me go get a little quick run on it, you know? Uh, I haven't drove it since the track day. Uh, that's when everything was hell, you know, hell went loose. Everybody's shit started breaking left and right. So I was like, you know, all right, let's fuck it. Let me go ride it. Started warming it up. All right, cool. All right, it's warmed up. After I took it out was riding it i was like all right cool and i was like hey it feels a little bit too low i was like Man, you know it could be me then i tried to pop a wheelie and the whole rear end sunk in came back out and then it was springy and i was like what the hell is going on well show him the dirt bike yeah it took a shit so exactly what happened i don't know if you let me see if i can lift this up but the shot this shit actually broke so that broke, uh, and then, let me get a light real quick, uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, got a light, alright, if you come in here, let me show you real quick. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's right, it's right here. The frame is actually bent in half, so, and the shock itself, when I first looked at it, I thought it, the shock just probably came out. A place but I was like wait there's a bolt holding it and I look at it and the shock is actually snapped in half like the absorber and I was like what the hell is going on and then I was like you know what it's Chinese you know I, I beat the shit out of it you know I put the cool graphics on there from Singe shout out to Singe graphics but you know it's time to move on so I'm actually thinking of getting probably an electric dirt bike yeah that was a secret I was trying to keep guys Cause I, you know, I was trying to have a gas dirt bike, electric dirt bike, compare them both, but this one went out on me. But we still got the other Tata over there, the other red one, so we can use that as a demonstration, you know, comparison from both. Uh, just gotta get a rear swing arm bolt, otherwise, isn't that perfectly fine? But I got something, you know, in mind that I was thinking about when it was broken, and I was like, you know what? Why don't we just take this motor? And the clutch, you know, everything that, because everything's perfectly fine on this. There's just a suspension, the frame's bent. I was like, why don't we just take the engine and put it on this? Like I said, I don't know if anybody else has done it. Like I said, I don't know if anybody else has done it. But at least I can say I was the first to myself that I've been knowing. I was the first one to do this. And you know, guys, this is going to be the new build. 125cc swap. Onto the mini bike, four gears, clutch, and you know, big boy carburetor. I'm throwing a, you know, probably a Nibby carburetor or a bigger Makuni carburetor. I don't know. It's, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna get it done. It's gonna happen regardless. And this shit's about to be fast. Three thousand watt coming in for the other mini bike. Then we're gonna do the two twelve cc on that other mini bike. Probably throw a bore key. You know, we might go crazy. Throw a big bore kit. Throw an aftermarket carburetor. Who know? might tune the jets and all that same thing with this one but this this is gonna be the build this is gonna be dope that one's gonna be dope we gonna have a little bit of everything we have the electric we got four gears on a mini bike and then we're gonna have a single gear which is an expandable clutch with the 212 cc and it's gonna get crazy guys i'm telling you and i don't know i'm gonna be honest i don't know which one's gonna be fast i don't know like off like all right we're gonna upgrade everybody's engines i understood that I was already upgrading mine. He was gonna get the 212cc. Then the other one was gonna get the 212cc. So everybody, you know, we are basically already knew what was gonna happen. And switch of plans, shit like this comes up, and now this guy is gonna get a 125cc with four gears. But the only thing I gotta get down is I gotta find a rear sprocket or a front sprocket to work with either this sprocket or I gotta find some type of way to maneuver to get around it. Cause I think the low, the highest I found for this sprocket is a 415, and I think this chain is a 428 or a 420, which I already have a 420 sprocket for the front for the engine, 
So if I can just find a 420 rear sprocket, it'll work perfectly fine. But if not, I'll just make my own bracket basically out of his old one and just mount that sprocket straight on there, center it perfectly fine so there's no wobble. And yeah, guys, it's going to be insane. Hope you guys are, you know, interested. But all right, actually, I'm going to start. I'm going to put a little time lapse of me actually ripping out the engine out of this bike just so we can start cleaning it up. I already tore it down once, so I know it's perfectly fine. There's no rod knock, there's no knocking, there's nothing. So everything's gonna be lit. Everybody's having to have fun. Everybody's gonna have fast builds, and we're gonna get it. So I'll see you guys in the time lapse. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get it. Well, guys, this shit happened. Well, it is what it is. We almost got the bike torn apart. I'm not gonna let this shit stop me because I'm hyped for this shit and this is worth it. So we're gonna get right back into the video. Let's get it. left but actually I can show you where it's bent if you look right here can you get closer real quick Let me see right there yeah it got its ass whooped honestly and uh here's a shock so you guys can get a further view of it since there's no plastic I don't know what happened I think the rod snapped something but it it's it it had its time it did what it was supposed to do guys so like I said, it's over with. Uh, we stripped down everything. We took the engine off, exhaust is off, kill switch, CDI box, everything that you gotta do with the engine for it to work and function is off. Um, I think the only thing I might have to muck up is a gas tank, maybe. Um, and just a sprocket and that's about it. Otherwise not everything's ready to go. I know the clutch is fine on this, so it's not even an issue or a question to be like, check the clutch, check all this. All I gotta do is tape everything, pressure wash it, dry it up, and just clean off any other dirty parts. And that's it, guys. But, like I said, stay motivated, and let's get it. 